All right, welcome back. It is quarter one, week six, day one. This is video number 23. Today we are going to learn about UVs. So today we're gonna to start with our standard setup, which is our basic cube, our see-through cube. And what we're gonna to do today is talk about how to actually take diffuse maps or bitmaps or some sort of like images and project it onto the cube itself. So what we're gonna do is something actually, it seems pretty simple. All right, we're gonna take an image. So if you hit M, we're gonna open up the material editor, maybe. Okay, here it is. And we are going to bring a bitmap over. Now, in the comments section, or actually in the description of the video, you can find the, these files here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one, crate256 underscore DM. And I'm just gonna drag it in right through there. This is just like what we did before with the rifle image, or except we had a plane at that point. And now what we're doing is actually making a, another material. So I'm going to right click, materials, scan line, standard. And I'm going to attach the bitmap to the diffuse color input. And then I'm going to make sure I have my box selected. I'm going to double click this material 25. I'm going to change it to uh, create. Great, cool. And now I'm going to click up here on the show shaded material and viewport, and I'm going to assign material to selection. Cool. So that worked pretty well. It actually looks like a crate. Um, that's easy, right? That's a very simple process. Now let's go ahead and try and do that to another shape. Uh, how about a sphere? So I'm gonna create a sphere doesn't really matter how big it is or where it is or whatever um, and let's do the same thing so hit M and then I've got my standard uh, my crate material I'm gonna put it on there and let's see how that looks I'm gonna turn my uh, edge faces off for a second now that doesn't look nearly as good now what if we wanted to make that look different what if we wanted to make it look maybe have more control over how it works. Well, that in a nutshell is what the UV modifier does. It allows you to control how an image is placed onto an object. What it allows you to do is take an object and cut it up. Now, the object I have at the moment is just a simple crate image, right? So I got this crate, uh, yeah. It's, this is 256 by 256 pixels. And I just made it out of some wood. Um, some wood images uh, that I found online and, and I just sort of built that out. Now, that process uh, is fine in this particular situation with a cube, but for a sphere or other objects, it's not gonna work for us. And we don't really have control over where it goes on this cube, at least currently we don't. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and open up this modify tab. And then under the modifier list, we're going to type in UN for unwrap. You'll see it pops up as unwrap UVW. Now, what a UVW is, think of it like a coloring book where you can take each face of a material of an object like this face or this face and then determine where it lays on the coloring book. All right? We can actually open up that object and lay it out how we want to using the UV editor portion down here. If I click on that, you'll get this weird window that has a simple like pink box in it and that you can see uh, if you've got the freeform mode selected which I think is on by default you can move it these p pieces around I can grab this and move and it's weird but if you start looking at what's going on when I grab something and I move it you're actually moving the material around on the object and each one of these sections is actually grabbing two sides. See that? Now, what's actually happening is I'm taking this face and adjusting where the image, which we can see what image is actually placed on it. Currently, we can change it so that this shows uh, map, map one. There we go. So we can see where it is. So if I wanted just uh, the corner, 
like that. If I want it to look like that, I could just place it there. Now, generally, what we do is we'll take stuff and shrink it. So if we wanted this to look just like boxes, like just the inside part, we don't want the outside part, I could take this, move it here, drag it out to there, and then you can see that it looks like it's just a regular like series of boards. There's no like border to it. And I can overlap them, but if you overlap them, sometimes that causes some problems. So we'll talk a lot about how UVs work. I'm actually holding control to make sure I keep the right ratio. It's actually very, very similar to Photoshop. Um, so you can see now that I've got that. And if I don't like the way that's lining up, for instance, let's say I want these edges to line up perfectly, I can actually move them up and down so that they're you know, close. You can rotate the image, so if I wanted it to go the other way, I could do that. So that I end up with boards going each, uh, I end up with boards going the way that I feel like they should go. And you can also distort it. Oftentimes, images get distorted during UVs by adjusting the, the size of these objects without thinking about how they look. And what happens then is it gets really squished. You may have seen this in video games before when something looks like really distorted or something like that. Like you can tell that's not right. That doesn't look right. What's happening is this image, this shape, which should be square, is now squished into a rectangle. So all of that space is then adjusted to show how many pixels are squished across this angle. Now UVs can be very confusing so we're actually just going to stop right here today. We're not going to do much more. I just want you to sort of play around with the UVs themselves. See how you can move them around, how you can adjust it, and sort of just get the feel for how that process works. Because what we're going to do next is we're actually going to start making our own UV layouts which is what you'll do for most of this class. Like you can adjust things and see how it actually looks. But realistically, um, none of this looks very good, right? It looks like a cube with a bunch of weird materials on it. So what we want to do is we want to lay this out. We want to be able to lay this out so each one of these can have its own setup. And we'll talk about that in a second. So for now, you don't even need to save this. Just You can play around with it for another like two or three minutes. And then when you're done, we're going to start this file over again, and we're going to actually lay out the UV, and then we're going to open it up in Photoshop and set it up how we really want it to look. All right? So I will see you in video 24 when we actually lay out a UV and then adjust it in Photoshop. All right? We'll see you next time.